My name is Nick Wasica. I'm a freelance sports photographer from Shakopee, Minnesota. It was always a goal to get my work on trading cards because, you know, I'd been collecting since I was seven years old. I bought my first box of 82 tops and then, you know, my first set was 83 tops and get that job to go cut the grass and then you get the money and then you beg your parents to take you to the card shop and then you blow all the money you just made the week before cutting grass. Loved it, absolutely loved it. The way it works, when I go cover a game, throughout the game I'm submitting at least 25 to 40 photos and these are the stories that tell about what happened during the game. Losing pitcher, you know, this guy hit a bomb, you know, made their debut, that sort of thing. And then afterwards, we do what's called a second edit, and I can go through and anything that I think looks cool, I edit, and then I'll transmit, and then they end up on the wire. That's where you know a photo editor can go to one of these wire services and type in Mike Trout, uh, Angel Stadium, and every photo that's ever been submitted from that year and that criteria is gonna pop up. And the photo editor is gonna scour through all of these photos and pick one or two or three or whatever that end up on cards. So. I think that's sort of like the coolest part for me because somebody saw enough in my work to pick it out of these thousands of photos and, and put it on a card. I love release day because I'm just like, I'll be on the computer just looking. Not mine, not mine. Oh, it might be mine. That one's mine. You go in the, in the Nick pile. It was a Tops Now of Jose Barrios. I looked at it, I'm like, well, that looks like something I would shoot. And I just saw it again, I'm like, all right, well, I'm gonna go look. And I was just like, that's my photo. And like, call me, like, ah, honey, guess what? Your nerdy husband just got his first photo on a baseball card. It was really cool, because like the next week he did a signing and we, we got to go, he autographed it and we got the photo. I'm like, look, this is super weird, but like, will you hold this card and go like this? Because this is my first baseball card and it's you. So it's me and my son with the photo. It's probably exhausting for other photographers. Because I always tell them, like, I'm just here to get baseball cards. They're like, we well, you know, and like with the eye roll. There's a lot of things that have to go right to get a good photo. Where are you at in, in, in relation to the play? I'm often shooting when other people aren't because I like the stuff that happens in between the action. You know, like the subtleness of prepping your bat, adjusting a batting glove, kicking the dirt off, or, you know, knocking the dirt off your cleats, you know, blowing a bubble. These are my Beckett covers. Now the story behind, this was my first one, the Aaron Judge. And I'm at my local card shop, and there was a Beckett hockey of Connor McDavid, and I'm just fawning over this thing. And I'm like, oh, it'd be so cool to have that. And then I look over and I'm like, Aaron Judge in gray at Target Field. It looks like something I'd shot. And then again, ah, and then I got to call everybody, I made back it! Like Robbie Cano, when he was still with the Mariners, they got a guy in a rundown and he's just running at him and just, this was right, this was right, he's coming at me, the sun was great because it's Southern California. Photographically, you know, I, I sort of like that one a lot. Hockey wise, I don't know, anytime I'm on a young gun, I don't complain. You know, like, it's again, it's that, that nerdy thing about, you know, like, it's my card collection. Like, these are my cards. I think I'm not good enough to be on the cards, but I'm still on the card. The Mesa Historical Museum hosts a permanent display called Play Ball, the Arizona Spring Training Experience. It features the history of the spring training, the birth of the Cactus League, and the Cactus League Hall of Fame, along with the cards of some legendary Cubs and A's players on display who are the two teams that call Mesa their spring training home. The Hall of Fame has two tops photographers inducted, Greg Forwork and Ed Malliard. Together their photos have appeared on more than 50,000 cards during their careers. That's what's wonderful about the Cactus League Hall of Fame is that you'll find um, inductees that aren't necessarily players, but they were really um, popular and instrumental in, in making baseball history. 